And we're gonna start off of how to charge up right here controller. So you must have got this cable inside your box, which is very similar cable. Actually, you can use the same cable from your phone or your tablet to charge up the controller. It works perfectly fine. So you would just plug this right here. Now you could just plug this into your computer or if you have a brick, go ahead and do that. So just plug in that part into a brick or your computer in order to charge your controller right here. So you don't actually need to do that before we set this up because it already comes with some charge. But I just want to show you that just in case once it runs out of battery, you don't need to charge it up for a while. Now when it comes down to your Apple TV, you're gonna see all your ports here, Ethernet, HDMI, and this is your power. So we're gonna start off with that. You got this cable right here and your cable will go right there. So we're just gonna plug that in. So just make sure it's nice and secure. You're gonna be fine. Your HDMI cable will go there and then I will go to your TV. So obviously you need a 4K TV. There's really no point of purchasing an Apple TV that's 4K if your TV is not 4K. Now the ethernet port right here, you don't have to worry about that if you don't have an ethernet cable because this works fine throughout Wi-Fi. And that's how we're gonna set it up. With ethernet cables, you would just plug it in. It's gonna be actually a lot faster to set it up. But right now, we're just gonna show you through Wi-Fi because that's the case for most of you. Now, obviously this end, we're just gonna plug it into your wall outlet. And this is what your Apple TV doesn't come with, HDMI cable. This is how they look like. This is a 4K HDR cable. And that's what you need for this type of Apple TV. Now it doesn't have to look like this, this is just an option. So you just need to plug this in on the back of your Apple TV, just like we did with the power. It's gonna go right there, just make sure it's nice and snug. It's supposed to look something like so. And right now you're ready to plug this into your TV. So right now this end will go directly to your TV. So watch out which source you've got. Make sure you select the right source or else you just won't find it. So it could be source one, source two, depending. So again, we're just gonna plug this into our TV itself. Now before we get started, I do wanna mention that the syncing between this and your Apple TV will be a little bit too easy. And if you already got an Apple product such as an iPhone or iPad, it's gonna make everything go a lot faster because it's just gonna share that information with your Apple TV. You're gonna be able to set up everything way faster because it's gonna share your password for your Wi-Fi. But anyways, let's just go on with the next step to your TV. Oh, 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 oh,